The Sniper is a short story written by Liam of Laherty. This story is about civil war between Republicans and Free Staters in Ireland. And in this story, we have that street war happening on that roads of Dublin city. So here, the Republicans are fighting against the Free Staters. At the center of the story, we have the Republican sniper who is fighting against the enemies. He is the Republican sniper covered himself on one rooftop of a building near O'Connell Bridge. So I have taken some important point from the story and in that way you can prepare for your examination also. You can have some MCQ questions out of this summary. So that location of the story is O'Connell Bridge. And this student that Republican sniper is at the center of the story. His physique is thin, his face is thin. He is hungry. His eyes had cold gleam of fanatic because he was watching nameless days. What, what is the meaning of fanatic? Fanatic means one with extreme belief. He had belief in, in that Republican way of thinking. So they want free state or free uh, that kingdom, free, free um, nation. And they want to um, fight for freedom of Ireland against United Kingdom. So the student had that concept in his mind very clear that they want that separate nation, independent nation. So his eyes gle had a gleam of the fanatic. So passion of freedom was there in his eyes. He was an ascetic, means he had no passion or emotion other than that he just loved his nation. He wanted that free nation of his own free Ireland. So he was at that time very hungry. He was fighting for his nation. He took a draught of whiskey at the time. But at the moment he was having the whim or wish to smoke and it was very dangerous actually. He wished to smoke cigarette and he cannot control. He struck the matchstick and took a whiff of the cigarette. So this is how that first time he committed mistake and he was detected by the enemy. Enemy was enemy free status sniper. So due to that, due to the light, the free status sniper shot the first bullet at this student or at this Republican sniper. So the Republican sniper watched from the parapet wall and found the location of the shooter that was from the building on the other side of the road but he could not see him because that enemy was under cover. The second bullet came towards him. So this was how he, that war started between this the Republican sniper and that enemy of his. He changed the place and hided himself behind the chimney. So in this way, he changed the place on the roof only and he went back side or behind the chimney. So in this way, you have beginning of the story. But suddenly there is one change in story. The second incident happened. Now there is encounter that is not between the Republican sniper and the enemy uh, sniper or that free status sniper. But the entry of one armor car is there and that in that armor car there was one uh, that gunman and uh, that incident happened between these that uh, gunman and this Republican sniper. What actually happened? Look into that. Just then one armored car came across the bridge and advanced slowly or came forward slowly up to the street, it stopped 50 yards away from this Republican sniper's building. So it was an enemy car. This Republican sniper could identify. One old lady came on the road. She told the man inside the car to shoot the sniper. The man came from the top or turret of the car. 
the man pointed his machine gun towards the sniper so see this is how that very turn in the story is there but before that the sniper fired bullet towards the man and man was killed by him so this is how successfully our sniper killed the man then he fired the bullet at the running woman to kill her thus he kills his enemy successfully so this is the turn into the story very important incident happened in this way he is successful to save his life see now again come to that free stater sniper so suddenly from the opposite troop a bullet came this was the th third bullet came towards this republican sniper from the side of his enemy and wounded the sniper's forearm so the bitter pain started due to that the bullet was in bone of his forearm so he is badly bitterly wounded now he broke the neck of the iodine bottle he had he poured the iodine into that wound but it was very painful for him so he was now in trouble as the enemy had detected him and it was dangerous to remain there in the morning time so he decided a plan to rescue from the place so this is how now very dangerous situation for him and he wanted to devise one plan to rescue himself from that rooftop now see what was his plan and how he activated he activated this plan so see to save himself the republican sniper took out his cap what he does he took out his cap he put it on the muzzle of the rifle and he pushed the rifle slowly upward over the parapet wall to make it visible to whom to that enemy the result was the enemy fired the bullet at the center of the cap thinking it as the head of the sniper so in this way he wanted to deceive uh, that uh, that sniper free stater sniper so the cap slipped down on the road and the sniper dropped his body on the parapet as if he is dead so he he here i um, mean uh, wanted to cheat that that free stater sniper and after few minutes he let his rifle dropped down on the road so this was his plan and he there mimics as if he is dead now the enemy thought that he has killed the republican sniper but the that uh, then at this moment the republican sniper fired the bullet at the enemy with his revolver the sequel to the enemy so this is the successful moment we can see that republican sniper killed his enemy with a revolver though he he threw his rifle on the road dropped his rifle on the road now but he had one rifle and with he had one one revolver not rifle and he just killed with that revolver his enemy so now he is happy or he is successful he drank whole wine he had and decided to meet his company commander he decided to leave the place there was no danger now to move but the curiosity grabbed in his mind he wanted to see the face of his enemy to whom he killed just now perhaps before division they might be in same troop of army he just had one thought in his mind and he became very curious to know about the enemy so what he did see the shocking end of the story he looked around the corner of o'connell street in the upper part of the street there was heavy firing but around here was quiet so he uh, felt that it is safe to move towards the dead body to see the sniper darted across the street so he crossed the street 
a machine gun tore up the ground around him and again somebody fired at him but he escaped throwing himself on dead bodies so again he could save his life with his brain with his capacity to defend so the sniper reached to the dead body at last and he turned over the dead body of his enemy and looked into his brother's face who was that that that, that person to him he killed that was his own brother see thus that he realized the meaninglessness of war it is the major theme of the story wars are brutal where brothers kill their own brothers so civil war means what ultimately killing your own brother so with this intention liam o flaherty wanted to show meaninglessness of war so in this way we can uh, see the dehumanizing effect of any war and futility of war where we just have enmity pain violence and frustration so nothing comes out of any war so in this way liam o'flarty wanted to show us the reality of war so after knowing the summary of this uh, particular story now let us come to that uh, multiple questions or uh, answer questions so what is there in the short story the sniper is written in backdrop of dash when did the street battles in dublin take place so we can read one by one the, that these mcqs and we can have that answers out of this presentation so we have these see questions and answers you can go thoroughly and you can read this you can understand it so let us stop here